Oh, hello guys. Welcome to class. I'm just about to put away my soup. So today we will be learning, obviously, as you can see from my lunch, uh, stock soups and sauces. Prepare stock soups and sauces. The prerequisite you need for this um, uh, subject is use hygienic practices for food safety for pretty much all units uh, from unit use food preparation equipments all the way to seafood we will require this use hygienic uh, practices for food safety. Um, this unit covers all the foundation stocks. We will be covering from chicken stocks to vegetable stocks to sauces and obviously the soups that you see created after you create your stocks. This unit uh, will be covered by uh, an assessment of multiple choice. Uh, you will also have an assessment of short answers. Um, you will have uh, assessments of uh, case studies, which include case study tasks regarding a soup and possibly another case study task regarding a sauce. Um, you will also be assessed in the kitchen. This is using several recipes. Recipes that cover from uh, your foundation basis of uh, stocks, which is your chicken stocks and your uh, beef stock, ground beef stock, your fish stock and your vegetable stock. So from these foundation sources we can also uh, create a variety of sauces and also a variety of soups. The limit to how much we can create uh, of soups and sauces and uh, from these stocks are almost boundless. So we've got uh, clear soups such as consommes or if you go to Thailand something like Tom Yum. Um, fermented soups such as um, Japanese miso soup or um, the not so common stocks such as uh, pork stocks that can create um, things like uh, tonkatsu ramen for example. Or the more classic uh, soups such as uh, lobster bis or prawn bis created with um, shellfish stock or um, fish stocks using fish bones. Um, we will also cover different kinds of sauces that we can create from um, these stock soups and sauces uh, such as your bechamel sauce which uses your roux um, made from butter and flour. This creates a white velvety sauce commonly known as white sauce or bachelor, uh, which uses, instead of stock, you can use uh, milk and your flavorings will be your onions and uh, bay leaf, peppercorns and cloves, or sometimes the onions and cloves get stuck together, this is called onion glue. Um, you also will be covering lots of recipes during your uh, kitchen practical assessments, such as seafood chowder. Um, using your fish stock and then you'll be making minestrone as you can see from my lunch before using a vegetable stock so your vegetable stock um, will be made using a range of vegetables which we'll cover also in one of the units later on um, things like beef stock um, to create demi glaze and jus uh, we will also be making chicken stock which is to make things like um, chicken velouté or chicken consomme. Um, other varieties of this, if you go to Chinese restaurant, maybe you find some chicken corn soup. Or if you're sick, maybe your mom might be making you a Jewish style uh, chicken soup. Um, around the world, there's lots of different kinds of uh, soups. They all have similar foundations, but here at NBC we'll be teaching you how to create uh, stocks, soups and sauces based on classical uh, techniques which is required for the various kitchens that you'll be working in. The foundation techniques will bring you to have the standard of how things are created regardless of what kitchen you'll be going into. Um, from roasting bones, cutting your precision cuts like Bruno's and Julia's to make your garnish for your soups, to creating emulsifications for your um, sauces such as mayonnaise and hollandaise 
and your um, sabayons. Or maybe you're interested in desserts and you can make your sauces such as cold sauce of uh, coolies and sugar syrups with a 50-50 ratio. Um, you will also be covering um, how to operate in your kitchen, which is starting from how do you select the ingredients for making your uh, base stocks. So what kind of um, burns will you be using? Um, how clean are your burns? Did you uh, collect carrots that are nice and fresh instead of dirty and limp and ugly? Um, what type of ingredients do you use and pick for your uh, sauces and soup? Does it match with the garnish, for example? Um, it will also talk about how to prepare and use your ingredients. How do you use your um, vegetables and your burns and your eggs and how you use your flowers and how does this work together between one ingredient with another ingredient. Um, it will also be talking in this unit about how we prepare ingredients, how we measure, how we calculate, how do we um, accommodate for a function of 50 or a table of 10 or maybe a wedding for 500 to 1000 people. How do we calculate these recipes from your standard recipe of um, 10 portions, for example? Um, what is a good way to measure liquid and how to measure um, things like butter and flour? Or how do we measure tablespoons? Is it by pinch or is it by tablespoon? Um, we will also, as we said before, talk about the various preparation techniques of stock soups and sauces discuss the differences between these uh, stock soups and sauces, um, what makes them different. So we'll talk about mother sauces, we'll talk about um, aromatics, um, we'll discuss things like how to present our soup at the end of the day, like what uh, bowls to use, what side plates to use, what kind of service ways, service where would you be selecting. Um, how do we safely assemble things like fruit processor to make our jobs easier and also safe. Um, what kind of PPE should we be using? So your uh, protective uh, equipments and your protective clothing. Um, what kind of sequencing do you do uh, within the kitchen? So your workflow plan, how do you make your day more efficient? So these are the things that we'll be covering in this unit from hygiene to danger zones to basically how to cook your foundation stocks all the way to creating um, mother sauces, derivative sauces and lots of different kinds of uh, soups along the way. So yeah, I'll see you in the next clip where we start discussing all these projects in detail.